I'd like to show you a piece of technology that I realized I was carrying with me that's over 3,000 years old. I have it here in my pocket. There it is. Now I know what you're thinking, that this is just a little ribbon. But actually, if you were, say, in China about 3,000 years ago, this would be your coin purse. Nowadays, of course, a coin purse looks more like this. All right? um, but notice I took it out of my pocket. You need something to carry it in. And back then, they didn't have pockets. So instead, what they did was very clever. They drilled holes into their coins. Uh, this way, they could uh, thread the coins over a string, for example. Um, would you do that for me right now? Just like you would thread a needle through the middle. And that would be uh, a very practical way of carrying your coins. Not only that, but it's also a security device because once the coins are on the string, of course, it's almost impossible for a thief uh, to steal them. But having had 3,000 years to figure it out, a lot of people figured out ways in which you can relieve somebody of their coins, even though they are strung on a string, just like that. So let me show you what I found out in my research, okay? Because I'm interested in all things deceitful. I'll show you my hands empty before and after each one. And if you don't mind holding your hands in a cup like that, the first one won't be the top or the bottom one, but it will be the one in the middle. That's more difficult. If you look, you can see it melting straight through the other two. Looks just like magic, doesn't it? Hold on to that one. Um, the second one is actually a little bit more difficult. Pinch your fingers, just like that. Oh, actually, the other way, it's better, yeah. And uh, hold on to the edge of the coins and don't let go, because at the count of three, ready, one, two, and in your hand, one of the coins remains. The other one is still on the string, of course. Now, most people assume that this is the hard, really hard one, but it's actually really easy. All I have to do is wave and the string melts just through the coin. The hard part about this is not to take it off the string, it's to put it back on the string in mid-air. Ready? In mid-air. Just like that. And you still have coin number one. Okay, and coin number two. Perfect. I hold them in your hand really tight. I'm going to give them to you to keep while try to do something very special with this last coin from my hand and wrapped not once but twice so that it's very secure to your hand just like that did you feel anything well it's gone from here and if you open up your hand you should find not one not two but three Chinese coins. And uh, I'll put these back in my coin purse. And uh, that's the end of my trick. Thank you very much.